guys, so today I'm doing a video I've been dying to do since pretty much since I started my channel. So I have 10 of my favorite nude lipsticks. I'm gonna go ahead and do swatches of every single one of them, tell you guys why I like them. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so we'll start with the one that I'm wearing, uh, which has kind of come off already, but this is Twig by MAC. I love this one whenever I just want to throw something on and I don't want something that's like super drying on my lips because this one is a satin finish. Okay, so next I have, this is probably my lightest nude that I own. This is Velvet Teddy. Not that I own, but that I love. This is Velvet Teddy by MAC and it's a beautiful, beautiful color. This one in particular, I wouldn't wear by itself. I definitely line my lips first. I love using either, uh, there's three lip liners that I love that go with all my nude lipsticks. There's Chi by ColourPop, BFF2 by ColourPop, and then Stripped Down by MAC. This is a really good one if you wanna go for that really pale, pinky nude color. Um, this is probably, for me, the palest I will go that will look good on me. This one's called Cake by Pure Cosmetics, and I love this one. It, this one has a little bit of a different formula. The formula is like very moussey and, and smooth. It doesn't fully dry down like a liquid, like a regular matte liquid lipstick. Um, so it does have a little bit of transfer. I'll show you guys. So you can see, it definitely does transfer onto your whatever you kiss. Um, but it's such a comfortable lipstick and when it does transfer it doesn't completely come off your lips So I feel like that's a nice compromise. This one's called safe word. It's by smashbox and it is one of their Legendary lipsticks you are gonna get some transfer because it's not a matte liquid lipstick But it's a beautiful color and it does last a really long time and this one has more of like a warm undertone It's definitely more on the brownier side than the pinky side, but again a beautiful beautiful nude This is one of the melted matte from Too Faced in the color cool girl So as the name says this one definitely has a cooler undertone again. It's a very pale nude um, I would say it's kind of a Kind of like the Velvet Teddy, I wouldn't wear this one by itself. I definitely would wear a lip liner with it. I love pairing this with strip down and then topping it with a little bit of gloss on top. Such a gorgeous nude. So this one's my newest favorite nude color. This one is by Burberry. It's one of their new velvet lips. And this is in the color Fawn and I mean, the color is perfection. It's more on the mauvier side of the nudes, but it definitely does a beautiful job of blending into your lips. Like this formula is so amazing, you guys. I would say it's kind of like, um, like when you first apply it, it kind of almost feels like the ones from Pure Cosmetics. Like it has that really velvety smooth texture when you first apply it, um, but it stays comfortable and hydrating on the lips the entire time you wear it. So this one doesn't fully dry down either. It is transferable, so I'll show you guys. So it is gonna transfer onto your hands, but you guys can see the color is still fully intact. Also, another thing that I love about this particular one is that once it starts to fade, you can reapply it on top of it without having to remove it. You know, some liquid lipsticks don't layer very nicely, but this one does, it layers beautifully. If you guys follow any of my beauty videos that I upload on my channel, you are no stranger to this one. I have raved about this color since it first came out. This is one of the Smashbox liquid lipsticks in um, Stepping Out. I always wanna call it Always On because that's the name of them, but this one's called Stepping Out and it's just, uh, I personally feel like this is the perfect shade of nude for my complexion. It's easy, I don't need lip liner. The formula is comfortable. It's, um, it's more hydrating than the Too Faced, but not quite as hydrating as the Burberry one. This is another one that came out pretty recently. I think it came out this year, and you guys probably heard me rave about it. So this is by Makeup Forever, and it's the liquid, it's one of the Artist Liquid Matte Lipsticks in number 109. I think this color is so flattering, and again, very easy. I don't need lip liner. It doesn't transfer, it dries down completely matte, and it is very, very comfortable. I don't feel like I wanna scratch my lipstick off by the end of the day or anything like that. That sounds dramatic. So this one is Bow and Arrow by Kat Von D, and I actually really like this one whenever I'm going for like a fleshy tone nude, and it's a little bit on the darker side too. So if I'm going for like a darker fleshy tone nude, I just said that. <laughs> and I would wear this one with a lip liner. I'd probably match it up with like stripped down just to give it a little bit more dimension, but absolutely love this color. I would say the formula is on the drier side out of everything that I talked about, but it's not totally unbearable. I definitely want to hydrate my lips and use a really good lip balm before I apply this. And this one also doesn't transfer onto your hands. So it's one of those lipsticks that's gonna last you for hours and hours. So the last one is the one that smells the best out of all of them. This one smells like vanilla cupcakes. Ugh, 
It smells so good, I can still smell it. So this one's by Jouer, it's called Noisette, and this one's a brownier nude. I love this color. It's like, if you ever wanna go for like that deeper nude lip, but you don't wanna do like those deep chocolate colors, this is a really, really good option. On me, it definitely um, pulls out a little bit more of those like pinky undertones. The Jouer formula is very, very thin. Like, it almost feels like you have nothing on your lips. It's so weird how they were able to make it so thin. Um, by the way, I am an affiliate with Jouer. If you guys ever wanna buy anything from their website, you can always use the code Liz15 and that will get you 15% off store-wide. And the Jouer lip creams are also kiss-proof. As you guys can see, they do not transfer. So those are my top 10 favorite nude lipsticks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite out of all the ones I tried. Or if I didn't talk about your favorite nude lipstick and you think that I would like it from all the swatches that I showed you guys, let me know down in the comments so I can go pick it up and try it out for myself. So I'm going to let you guys go if you guys are new to my channel. I hope you subscribe. I upload videos every single week from beauty to fashion to lifestyle videos. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Mwah. Bye.